Hi guys, welcome to Saving Money Show, me your host Sean. Uh, I'm sorry for this being smashed together, but someone said they was going to quit stocks because of the way it's going and put money elsewhere, which is their decision, but I thought uh, I would give them some context in this video. I try to give plays that can go up, but I've had all kinds of weird requests. Some people say I only keep my money in a stock for three months because otherwise yeah, your dollar will degrade, which I understand, but you shouldn't put a time frame like that on your stock. But anyway, that's your decision. Just to prove to you how this has happened in the past. And Peter Lynch has flagged it up in the past himself. How when a market becomes overvalued, uh, stocks will either go say, sideways or downwards and you have to wait for them to rebalance this is 1991 and stocks the S&P 500 went up 27% now I will go on to my place of the week after this so don't worry uh, and this starts at 1992 you see it going sideways and then downwards it took a few years for it to actually move upwards. Now, why am I saying this? Because we have had uh, likes of Tesla, likes of Apple, likes of Amazon. Now, I know Amazon's had to move up. Apple's had to move up. But if you look back over the last three months, they're all sideways or some of them even down more. And these have such a huge weighting on the S&P. It's shocking. And you, and you can see from this graph how, you know, it, just, it doesn't always go up. You have to hold through the down days and wait for it to rebalance and go up. And speaking about that, I'll get back to my plays of the week. And some of you may be tired of hearing these plays, but they are earnings plays. Viacom. I said when it was $38, you would be up on it, yes, but I think it's for, it should be a $60, $65 stock. Now, we can see here how because of the hedge fund bought heavily into it made it overpriced and then was forced to sell it all and, and went under the uh, that's affected it but if you look back you see you were getting it <laughs> look at that see now, it has grown heavily with a streaming service. And I do not, I think it will beat his, his earnings. Zach's think it will beat his earnings. And I think it could be the catalyst it needs. I think it's primed for the move. So, I'm glad I'm in it. Peloton. Now, Peloton is one that could go either way. We all know what's happened there. We all know about the... It was overvalued, in my opinion. That's why I jumped ship. Uh, I did a video a while ago saying how I was sold my Peloton to go into Beachbody or FRX and the because every share of Peloton gave me 15 shares of FRX now don't get me wrong I think Peloton is still the trailblazer in this space but the response to these deaths is going to lose a market share 
they still have a great churn rate. Why? Because people have looked into it as how much do I pay to go to the gym? How much do I pay for Peloton? So that's going to be the investment I make. So that's why people are not leaving until they've got a return on their investment. And now, uh, during these earnings, they have said that they will, the CEO will announce what the uh, whole deal and the whole game plan for pre core is going to be. I think we know it anyway that it's going to be to build the bikes but, and build the own machines. Um, but that might be a bit of a catalyst, but in the market at the moment, it's very hit and miss. And I think they're carrying a lot of bad baggage. But the reason why FRX is my play on this earnings is, firstly, FRX has two thirds of the market share and growing. Now, people are saying uh, it would have been better doing it without mixed fitness. But the reason they put mixed fitness in with FRX are putting mixed fitness in with Beachbody is because with the bike they can t take market share from Peloton customers and now is the time that they could do it with all these bad news now nah. what do they have Beachbody a lot of people have come out and, who have used Beachbody and Peloton and said that Beachbody is a superior product I've, I haven't used either so I wouldn't know the there are, they have celebrity fitness trainers on there. They have the shakes, which are supposed to be tasty. I wouldn't know again. They have the support sector. Now, what they do have is they have the guy responsible for Disney Plus, TikTok, and a number of other streaming platforms uh, on board. Don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button. A lot sexier than me, just ask the wife. And if you want to be a hero, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. And why not check out the links in the description below. If you're looking for a free trading platform, you get a free share with up to 200 pounds, dollars, depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount. XPO Logistics. Now... This is a company that I think will beat as well. And since, uh, not just me, Zach's as well, since they took over uh, another logistics company, they've done well. For the first time in 70 years, their last earnings, uh, they gained a 21% uh, increase in earnings. And I don't think the chart shows enough of a move for that I think the fact that they have contracts with Home Depot and Ikea and a number of other companies that don't tend to switch these contracts lightly I think they are going to do incredibly well I also think that the fact that they're not paying a the dividend they're not losing that cash off their balance sheet means they can grow a lot more with e-commerce, shipping uh, does well. And I think these shipping across the country does well. If you're in UPS, then this might be another ad you might want before earnings. Now... There is uh, another one that I've spoken quite a bit about. Pen. We picked it up at 80. Uh, we, we, picked, we did it the way I said. Anything over, under 100. So we picked it up at 95, 90 and 80. We averaged down. We don't put all of our money in at once. And why? All these... All these... Uh, 
gaming companies have posted massive earnings. But what have they also done? They've had to spend massively on marketing. Ping doesn't market. They don't need to. Now, uh, Penn was doing amazingly well in Pennsylvania. But then Dave Portnoy, because of his ties to Michigan, decided to go all in in Michigan. And it was a bit of a bad decision at the time. However, I think Penn will do well. I think they will beat. I don't think it will be a massive beat, but I think they will beat. And I think it could be the catalyst to getting back over 100. Now, even if it doesn't, I think long term, it's a good stock. Now, I hope you uh, don't mind me plugging. I put all these in my Discord and I do put a lot of information in the Discord. I've got a load of different tabs. The link is in the description. So check it out. So just some news. DPW acquires a 10% interest in NTN buzz time. Uh, they also have started Ethereum mining, DPW have. And UAMY, uh, the interim CEO, has just bought 30,000 shares at $0.9 uh, dollars a share. So that seems good news. We're expecting news of a contract coming soon. So anyway, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification and comment in the box below. I'll see you in the next video.